the cow VTuber finds out if cows are OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cows are one of the most popular builds in the game. And normally, a high population is a good indicator that a build is pretty powerful in the current meta. However, the cow meta is strong. Cattle, there are a lot of other factors which make their true power level a bit less obvious. Are cattle low tier builds that are simply propped up by human activity? <laughs> or are they a genuinely powerful high tier that would dominate with or without human help? Let's we would dominate the meta! Cows are OP! Delve into their stats and abilities to find out. Are bovines Cattle OP? are part of a powerful faction of builds called bovines, which also yes. includes the bison, cape buffalo, water buffalo, and historically, the auric. While there are yes. a few differences between them, which we'll discuss That's in a long horn, at the I end think. of the video, they all share a few common traits. Bovines have an exceptionally high HP stat. <laughs> he said GG next! He said GG next. That crocodile thought. That crocodile thought he had a chance. Absolutely not. GG next. Forfeit. Forfeit. Surrender, you weak, land-loving lizard. It takes a lot of damage to bring them down, pretty much requiring team strats from multiple predator players at once. And unlike some other high HP builds, bovines don't just sit there eating the damage. No, they can strike back with incredible force. Oh so man, did you see can... that? Did you guys see that? He just flipped that lion. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody can 1v1. Nobody can win the 1v1. They have to bring multiple foes. Their sharp, sturdy horns can inflict it's because cows are boss here. Unlucky enough to be caught in their path. And unlike antlers, which fall off and need to be regrown each year, the horns cattle have, they have year round. Always yeah, ready yeah, yeah. to wreck someone's plan of attack. Their mobility stat is kind of mid. Definitely not high enough to reliably escape a predator. And their intelligence and stealth are both below average. <laughs> However, neither of these stats are all that integral to the bovine build. We don't need to be smart or run away when they always lose if they fight us one on one, all right? We don't need to run away because we are strong, okay? We don't need brains in this operation. We only, we only be winning. <laughs> main strategy while lower never retreat does create a potentially exploitable vulnerability to things like traps and lower their resistance to distractions and intimidation tactics it's not so low that bovines aren't able to utilize team combos quite the contrary in fact they do have team combo defense tactics employed by a competent herd of cattle makes them borderline impossible to defeat in a group and since exactly such a high hp stat this gives cows teammates a lot of time to regroup and launch a counterattack if one of their herd members goes down, oh! next we should discuss their unique abilities and their signature combat moves. Yeah, yeah. Bovines all have the ruminant ability, which enables them to gain XP and level up all just from eating grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we might... constantly regen health. We constantly regen health from an available resource. Seem like a boring ability, but its usefulness is actually hard to overstate. The Minecraft Having crunch. This perk essentially means that one of the most abundant plants in the game becomes your main source of XP, completely removing the need to search and We are constantly food. This means a player doesn't up. need to invest evolution points into things like climbing, digging, keen eyesight, or intelligence to be able to find food, and can reinvest those points into other stats, which is how true, cattle true, true. are able to support such a high base stat total. Cattle also push the mammal faction's signature move, lactation, to its limits. Cow milk is one of the most nutritious substances in the game, and allows new cattle players to level up extremely quickly. This helps keep their offspring safe, as it means they spend less time in the more vulnerable, low-weight class. And yeah, 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 yeah. We don't leave the, the brand new level 1 cows, you know, to be vulnerable. They immediately become OP because they have grass and they have milk quickly reach a size where hardly anything could realistically take them down alone. The cattle's signature move is Goring Rush, an extremely powerful head bash attack that deals heavy damage and inflicts incredible knockback, forcing the target back a good distance and also likely knocking the target prone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. allows for easy follow-up attacks. Their signature move is the OP headbutt. To prone enemies. So no one comes out alive. This combo can be devastating if it catches an opponent off guard. That is about it when it comes to the cow's main combat moves. 
Cows can kick as well, but it's more of a stomp than anything. They don't have the flexibility or power to headshot someone like a horse. We can. don't need it. We don't need they it. They also cannot right? deal damage with their bite since they don't have upper teeth. Not yeah, we got no teeth. Deal, but biting is a powerful option to have in a pinch, so it's at least worth mentioning. Now, let's get into the cattle's weaknesses. And we got no upper teeth. So, due to the cattle's low intelligence stat, its resistance to mental status conditions like intimidation, distraction, or trickery is reduced. True, 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 true. Intimidation is a pretty common tactic employed by a variety of different builds, from predators to omnivores to herbivores. Intimidation is one of the most effective tactics against cattle and can often result in a cow. What is that? What is that? It looks like somebody's grandma. That it very easily could have won if it had not been scared away. And conversely, <laughs> if a cow does decide to take the offensive, distractions can easily divert the attack, causing it to completely miss. While this is, of course, See, you just gotta play fair, all right? See, this isn't this isn't a weakness. This is just people playing fair, all right. If you played fair, we would win every time. You gotta you gotta pull the whole you know. You gotta be cheating. You gotta be lying. You gotta be bamboozling because you couldn't win. Just you know, you couldn't win just by normal tactics alone. You would lose. You gotta do the underhanded tactics. Extremely risky. Over committing to an attack and whiffing can oftentimes mean the difference between decisive victory and crushing defeat. Advanced players will even be able to utilize a combination of intimidation and distraction to kite cattle in specific directions, enabling them to control entire herds, which is what has allowed human mains to capture huge numbers of cattle. Cattle are known for their goring rush attack, which, while powerful, <laughs> is imperfect. Many builds put a ton of points into the ability Concussive Force Resistance, enabling them true, to true, throw true. out headbutt attacks without much risk. Cows have some blunt force resistance, but not enough that headbutts and charging attacks are without risk. In yeah, true, true. We do put our craniums at risk when we're running them into things at max speed. <laughs> but you know, we're trying our best, all right? We're trying our best. In fact, at high speed, cattle can easily take lethal damage in a single hit if they strike another player at full Not the recoil! Builds like the goat or bighorn sheep can easily best a cow in 1v1 combat, even though the cow's stats are much higher in a vacuum. Oof. Builds with forward-facing horns can oh also present quite a challenge to bovine builds, as bovine horns tend to face to the side and are more used for swiping and slashing at opponents than for stabbing forward. This means that in a direct the slash and yeet is pretty powerful. A lot of damage to a bovine player while keeping them out of reach of connecting with their own horn attacks. There aren't enough different bovines for a proper full length tier list video, but I think I can do a quick rapid fire ranking to close. Yeah, let's out go, this let's video. go. The basic cattle comes in at a solid B tier. Definitely not a bad build, but one with a lot of weaknesses that high tier builds can exploit. Their main advantage over the other, more wild cattle variants is that due to selective breeding by humans, the domestic cattle are actually the best in the game at milk production, and therefore their offspring level up and reach larger sizes much quicker. Definitely a much more beginner friendly build. Although yeah, it's a beginner friendly play, build. It's good it's good to get you used to the game. But the skill issues we have, the nerfs we have are from humans, not not ourselves. <laughs> As a human will eliminate you. Also in B tier we have the Yak, a mountainous variant of the cattle that opted for slightly lower base stats in exchange for better resistance to the cold and better mobility on icy or rocky terrain. True, true, true. Same basic weaknesses as the common cattle, but its ability to survive the cold Himalayan mountains means that it has less natural enemies to contend with than cattle in less hostile climates do. He stays very warm. Here we have the bison. The bison are the largest bovine build. I was going to say, that's a big boy. Stats for extra health and defense. That's a chunky As lad. A result, they have shorter horns and lots of padded fur on their head. He's he the tank, chat. He's the paladin. He's the paladin in the, uh, in the gaming sphere. He's the tank. <laughs> Seeing that they can tank a lot more damage, but also can't deal as much damage using Goring Rush. This can be a bit of a problem, as being able to one-hit a wolf would really help discourage aggressive teams of wolves from attacking true, them. True, true, true. Since they can't get a one-hit kill without a crit, some wolves get pretty brazen in their attacks on bison. Still, they're tied with the moose as the premier tank of the North America server, and have favorable matchups against the grizzly bear. So yeah, and he's pretty scared because grizzlies are pretty big and they can they can hold their own against mooses. A solid high tier. Yeah. Next in A tier we have the water buffalo, a bovine build with roughly equivalent stats to the water cow, cow. with higher offensive stats and massive horns. 
They get a mobility bonus. He's got the big old horns. He's got the weapon down pat. He's the great sword user tank. Water buffalo have to be able to fight off one of the most powerful solitary predator builds in the game, the Bengal tiger. Anything that can take on this thing has to be at least A tier. Yeah, true, 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 true. The human player base in the India server is also notably less aggressive towards bovine players, which makes them a lot more viable in Oh, see, we're likable. We have the we have the likable stat chat. We're cute, so we get free passes. Meta games, nothing compares to Africa. And despite the abundance of extremely powerful predators like the lion and hyena, and territorial giants like the rhino and elephant, the Cape Buffalo is still notorious for being one of the most dangerous builds in the game. It's one of Africa's big five, a status given to builds which are notoriously difficult for humans to defeat 1v1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think for this reason, the African You're gonna Cape need Buffalo multiple, you're gonna need a full party to go against this raid boss. Builds but it still doesn't quite crack S tier, mostly because it's overshadowed by the wildebeest in the African savanna meta. The wildebeest, which is not a type of cattle or buffalo, but rather is essentially an antelope with higher stats, may not be as bulky as the Cape buffalo, but it does have a much higher base speed stat. He's very fast. He do be zooming. Being able to escape an ambush from Africa's predator. Look at him go. Punishing opponents who don't respect the wildebeest's range, leading to the wildebeest being vastly more successful than the Cape buffalo. This level of He's got the range stat, he's got the speed stat. S tier in the African server. Now, this doesn't mean cattle will never be S tier. In fact, I think there's a pretty strong argument to be made that prior to humans unlocking the gunpowder technology on the tech tree, bison were the undisputed S tier of North America. Yeah, in competitive and play, we just got to ask for the the human and, and, you know, gun tier that was unlocked in the DLC to be disabled. <laughs> and then we'll win. Annihilated from the server, their numbers are slowly but surely returning to healthy levels. It's quite an inspiring story which you can check out right now on CuriosityStream, the sponsor of today's video. CuriosityStream is a subscription streaming service where you can watch thousands of Yeah, just nerf of the humans and we'll be back in S tier. The Buffalo documentary. All of them well will reach S tier. Other personal favorite titles such as Out of the Cradle and Leaps in Evolution. You can get access for just over a dollar a month by going to curiositystream.com slash tierzu and choosing the annual plan. You'll also get access to Nebula. Nice! Too, so you can watch my videos, Johnny Harris's videos, real life Lore's videos, and a bunch of other Everyone awesome wants a cow on their team, okay? We make the best tanks. Here. There's a lot of great content to watch. There's always a space you open. Out. You know, so again, everyone who's looking for group is looking for at least one cow member to the their party. Plus a giant They're in high demand. Other fun content to watch. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. No! It was so good. Do you guys like it? <laughs> this is by uh, Tier Zoo. I loved it. It was so good. In conclusion, cows are OP.